welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another week in my life today you guys know my morning routine uh role play is in about 15 minutes prospect i'm on today i'm prospecting for about two hours um so probably from 8 to 10 or from 8 to 11 30 depending uh just because i have a lot of admin work to do and a lot of like deadlines today so stuff that i need to get out today um so that's what i'm gonna do and then later on i have a listing appointment and a showing as well for a buyer so you guys are gonna come along with me yeah i hope that you guys enjoy and let's get into the vlog <laughs> Hello, good morning. My name is Julianis. I'm a local real estate agent and I was calling about the property that you had for sale a couple months ago and I was just wondering if it's sold um, and if you're still accepting offers on that property. If you are, please uh, give me a call back. My phone number is thanks so much and have a good day. Most scariest moment of my entire life career. To make the long story short, I've been following up with this for sale by owner lead that I for eight months or eight to nine months, probably more than that. But I've been following up with them. They are investors and developers, so they started uh, a flip a couple months ago, like eight months ago, pretty much. And then I've been following up with them ever since then. I've been going to the property, taking videos and everything. Yesterday, the, they called me. The property is ready to list it. I called them today to confirm the appointment and. The, the main develop the developer because it's a like a family like a couple he tells me that he's only willing to pay my three percent commission for total listing and buyer and um yeah <laughs> we've had a couple meetings in the past and we've discussed numbers like he knows that i work for five percent or maybe it was a miscommunicated he he told me that three percent so um i just called him back and i told him so i told him you know i would make the numbers see if it would make sense but like i'm not worth three percent <laughs> okay, like the value that I bring to the table is worth way more than 3% And I I'm okay letting this go after eight months of hard work and like a lot of money invested in time Most importantly and a lot of emotional, you know energy as well that I've invested in this lead And this is very surprising to me and the fact that I even called him and I told him my 5% or you know I can't work for you. I can't work with you on this. It's surprising to me and he said that he would think about it And then he would call me back. So now I'm waiting for the phone to ring. I'm in control here. I'm the lion and I'm not the prey. Like think about it, like this is the transaction now. How is the transaction gonna go throughout? I'm not their puppet. I am not worth 3%, okay? Wow, I'm proud of myself. I'd like to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. They actually sent me this amazing chair and the stand-up desk as you guys know, I'm a real estate agent and my main way of prospecting is cold calling, which means that I spend lots of time on the phones and on my desk working and stuff. <laughs> and I'm also a YouTuber, so I edit uh, my videos, you know, I'm, I'm always working on my desk. And so being able to go from sitting down to standing up, it's super, it's been really, really helpful with my back and just more productivity in general. It's very recommended to stand up while prospecting because, it, you know, it's more efficient, um, you have more energy, your tonality, your tonality is better, and there's a lot of different benefits to standing up while prospecting. So I, it's just nice to be able to do both things um with the touch of a button pretty much and, it, and it's just a really cool thing so yeah i like flexi spot they prioritize you know your health and productivity they have different kinds of products different kinds of colors um the service was really good the customer service and it got here super super quickly so highly recommend them be sure to check out the link in the description box below for a 15 dollar off coupon and also to learn more about flexi spot Three weeks later, many months later, one eternity later. I am heading to a hair appointment right now and um, I have a lot of explaining to do. I have a lot of things that I want to update you guys on so I'm very excited but we'll do that after the appointment. Um, I'm, I want something different. I want something new. So I don't know. I mean I do know but you guys will see later. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So let's go do that. I am so tired by the way. Guys, we made it. Wait, what time is it? 9.57. I don't think they're even open yet, but we'll see. Oh my god. So 
what they just put the color in. Okay, so I'm here down in Inlet Park, uh, previewing some luxury townhomes. So I just got done previewing those luxury townhomes and I am now heading to my new listing to hang up the sign. The post gentleman already dropped off the post so I'm just going to go put the sign up and it's an hour drive back over there so yay. Now there's a lot of traffic at this time so it's all good. We are back home, we are back in my home office but my bedroom. It's my, my home office. We're here to have a little chit chat and I'm gonna try not to ramble, but that's gonna be difficult. So let's just get right into it. Something happened <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. I got a DM, a, a message on Instagram about a high profile client that's looking to find a luxury rental property in Tampa, Florida, and they wanted me to help them out with that. Um. I wanted them to get the best service and since I'm not used to working in that area or in that market or in the luxury in general, I partnered up with specialists, specialist, specialists, people that are specialized in that market. It was all great. Guys, that was the most amazing experience that I could get. Like, I wanna go all in in luxury. I'm not even a year in this business, in this industry. I'm not even a year in. I've only closed like two deals, guys. So for me saying that, I'm gonna, yeah. So this is my announcement telling you guys that I'm going to be getting into luxury real estate market. And the best part is that you guys are gonna come along with me for the ride, because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, but. It's gonna be fun. This journey is gonna be super fun. I have a plan. I have a game plan of how I'm gonna make it happen. And this is going to be interesting. So that's one of the things that I wanted to catch you guys up on is that amazing opportunity. That's why I got so busy. Like March for me was, I got swamped with business. Buyers, couple of buyers, seller appointments, this client. Um, and so I got super like busy there. And now April is a little slower. Still, I have a listing that just went on the market two days ago and we're you know reviewing offers and all that showing so that's good but yeah like right now it's just a little bit more slow like i was saying telling you guys like i have a game plan for this next step in my life because i'm not saying like i want to get into luxury a couple years on the road i'm saying i want to get into luxury um, I want to start working on that right now, like this year. So we're going to make it happen. One of the first things that I did, as you guys can tell, is I changed my hair. That may not mean a lot to you guys, but for me, one of the things that was on my to-do list is my hair, like fix my hair, because obviously my hair was grown out and stuff. And I wanted to have something a little bit more simple to make me look a little bit more mature. I mean, try to make me look a little older, which that's so weird to say, but uh, in this business, I'm, I'm 21 years old. I get judged a lot of the time because of my age and people think that I don't have enough experience or enough I mean, right? That's crazy. Anyways, so I did my hair. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing is I need to prepare mentally, guys. Like, this is not gonna be easy. So, I need to prepare mentally, and that's mentally, physically, and emotionally. So, I'm, I've started already working on my health, like on my eating, trying to work on that, working on my health, like working out, and mentally, like to kind of put that all together, having a very sacred morning routine. That's gonna be super important that's gonna set me up for success throughout the day. So that's gonna include, you know, breakfast, working out, um, meditating, like all of that stuff. And as I work on that and as I put that together, I will definitely share that with you guys. But I, right now I'm still figuring that out. So coming soon. But that's also something that I need to work on is like my mentality and in my health in general. The next thing that I, I'm considering leaving Keller Williams. 
Ooh. Yeah, I know. There's a couple reasons for that. First of all, every market center is different. They all work differently. They all operate differently. At my market center, they recently did a change in the structure of everything. Like the leadership is different. The, the trainings are different. The new agent program is different from when I started. I'm finding it really, really frustrating. You guys have seen me in a couple of videos talk a little bit about my frustrations, but I just feel like I could get more support. Like I could get much more support somewhere else. And that's what I need. Like I don't need trainings right now. Like I just need support. Trainings is more like classes and events and things like that. But support for me is like, hey, I'm negotiating a contract right now. What's the best thing to do for my client? Things like that. So I just feel like at my office, the way that it's structured, very difficult to get my questions answered from the broker. Like it's it's always like an email and, and have to wait for him to hear back from him. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm interviewing other brokerages. The first one that I interviewed already is exp realty i think their model is amazing definitely think it's the future of real estate i just don't know if first of all i'm ready for a completely on-demand uh brokerage and, and like not having somewhere to go uh, for me that's really important uh that's number one and number two would be the kind of market that i want to get into like i said it's luxury i would have to find either a team or, or someone that can guide me in that brokerage in that market if that makes sense and then i have another opportunity to work in a different brokerage it's smaller, newer, um, but it has a lot of experience in luxury and a lot more opportunities there. Let's leave it at that because I haven't interviewed them either. So I don't know what they have to offer specifically, but I know that, you know, a little bit about their company. So that's the next step is going to be to choose, you know, to change brokerages. And I'm, I'm hoping to do that by June, which is my anniversary at Keller Williams. There's a lot of things, little things that are going on at my office that I'm just kind of ready for a change. I think it's going to be interesting to see like where I'm at a year from now or, or in a couple months from now after putting this video up. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll fail and <laughs> maybe I won't get any business or it's not going to go good, but it's whatever. Like, I'm just, I'm ready for a change. I'm not scared of what's going to happen. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? <laughs> just go out there and kill it because you are more than capable of doing that. So that's my message for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.